couple of Canadian geese, you're starting to see a lot of the mates just all o hanging out all over down here. Must be starting to nest or get time. ready. So here's the dam that's holding water back on these pools. There's, I think, two or three up here and these two right here. And I've caught, I think, three beaver right here in the crossover. I've got two sets, another four foot stand where I really don't need it because it's, it looked a lot deeper when I said it. So I've caught a fish or something. Looks like a largemouth bass. This is what I was just talking about. You catch about a pounder. <laughs> oh, you're still alive. Yep. So with these four foot stands, I found that I can just set the trap still on the stand without having to unwire it. The only, depends on what 330s you're using though, the Belial's is doable, but it's very tough. I like these bridgers. There's plenty of room, but whatever you got, just use that. So we'll throw him above the dam. He might make it. So here's what I'm talking about. You kinda, Just get her set like that. Take your safety catches off. Then, so the crossover, sometimes they're tough to see. You can see they kind of a little notch right here in the bottom and I've fenced it in a little. And so I'm, I should replace this four foot stand with just a stabilizer, but I'm already right here, so I'm just gonna keep doing it. <laughs> Rearrange my blocking a little bit. Just kind of want to fence it down so your trap is the best opening for them to go through. And I've got another set right here. Looks like I have a turtle. Yep. Red ear slider. Let him get a breath of air. He needed that, Matt. Yeah, he took a big one. These ones are hard to hold on to when you're, if you're working in the water to relocate them, like I was saying. just kind of stuff him in the dam and put my setters on him. He's probably wore out enough though from being underwater. So instead of pulling my stabilizer, I'll just feel down and line my jaws up on the stabilizer so I don't it's easier on my back. And it's good to carry a set of pliers for these safety hooks will be sticky sometimes. I always have a pair of 10 inch pliers on me when I'm trapping for cutting wire and Yeah, I see you got the essentials all, all hanging on you. I feel like uh, in a spy movie when they get all their cool stuff, yep. like James Bond. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So we got that one reset. That's just the run carried out to where it's dumping into the pond. And you gotta get these spots out of the way where you don't catch beaver at some point in the day. Mm -hmm. So let's head on back to the house and get loaded up and on down the road. We'll give this guy a nice new home. <laughs> 